Hey guys, Raisha here. Today I would be talking to you about the book Forest of Enchantments by Chitra Devakaruni, which is the most brilliant retelling of the greatest epic of all times that marked the end of Treta Yuga. So what makes this book different from other books is that the author has written this story from the perspective of Sita, the incarnation of goddess Lakshmi. also called the daughter of earth and fire so this story starts from how sita was found by her adoptive father king janak and was brought up in the kingdom of mithila and then how she met ram the love of her life and her marriage to the greatest warriors of all times when all other suitors had failed to lift the mighty bow of shiva the shock that she had felt when she had learned that her husband was sentenced to 14 years in exile by his own father upon the request of Kekai who had done so out of love and devotion for her son Bharat and the endless hardships that she endured in the forest until one day she was subjected to trickery and abducted by the mightiest of all demons and the endless days she spent in lanka remembering her beloved husband ram and her grand rescue which led to the fiercest of battles between ram and ravan despite being pure at heart and body she was subjected to the most unjust agni pariksha by her own husband who has asked her to do so just to prove her purity to the people of ayodhya after being exonerated by the gods for her innocence she resumed her duties as queen to be and helped ram in all his kingly duties and her happiness was short lived because just before his coronation as the king of ayodhya he banished her from the kingdom and asked lakshman to leave her at sage valmiki's ashram in the forest after hearing gossips in the kingdom that questioned the purity of the queen of ayodhya and then later her life in the forest and raising her two beautiful sons in sage valmiki's ashram and teaching them everything and especially the lesson of balancing duty with love and then her return to ayodhya and her second agni pariksha in which she refused to prove her innocence yet again because she felt a duty towards all the unborn daughters who would have been subjected to the same agni pariksha had they found themselves in a similar situation so this is the story of sita what she believed in what inspired her how she felt and dealt with the deepest of tragedies and what made her overcome these you will also enjoy the stories of ahalya mandodari surpanakha and urmila who had played a great role in this epic the forest of enchantments also gives the powerful message of love that can cause us the greatest joy and greatest despair so i really hope you like this video and the link of this book is in the description down below and i hope that you like and subscribe to this video and i'll see you in the next one bye